and welcome everyone to an amazing event. I can't wait till we get started. Hello, welcome. My name is Boarding Board and we are ready for some action because we are going to see West Virginia Northern Community Co Co uh, College. I'm sorry. We're going to see them play a little bit of Rocket League, all right? Uh, so we're going to get this tournament started pretty soon. Hopefully, you're on the edge of the seat. We are going to be uh, see a couple of competitors play. It's going to be a 2v2 tournament. We have Rosebud excited in the chat. Let's get some excitement in the chat here going on here because we're going to see the match of the century as I get the names of our competitors about to go on this epic journey. It's going to be Snipe, Hunter, and Toe Bizzard versus Caden and Jaggerbush, all right? We're gonna have a red team. We're gonna have a black team, because guess what? That's the colors of their community college. We're gonna see them show out and play some awesome Rocket League action. I can't wait till we get started. And right now, we're just loading up, making sure that these gamers are coming here and ready to start on it. This Rocket League action. Um, while we are waiting for that to get started, uh, thank you again for joining me. This is my first broadcast with the Bravos community, so I'm excited to be here. I cannot wait until uh, the action gets ready to go. And speaking of action getting ready to go, well, it's time for you to see that action, isn't it? So uh, now we're going to transition into the, the little waiting room right now seeing these gamers participate and go for it. We see Tobazard right there, Snipe Shadow 4, Paracelis, and waiting on one more participant for the action. Um, I'd like to reiterate, uh, uh, welcome again, like I said, to the action. Um, this is my first time being here with Bravest, so I'm super excited to be here. Uh, I've been doing uh, a, a whole bunch of different uh, shout casting opportunities, Rock League, 2K, a lot of different places. But this is my first time with Bravest. So be easy on me. And hopefully you're easy on yourself. Hopefully these uh, gamers, though, their games are anything but easy. All right. Rocket League is a game where a lot of things can happen in a short amount of time. A lot of fly, flying energy, a lot of action going back and forth so watch out for that and in the meantime while we are waiting for our game to load up i also want to remind uh, you all that uh bravest also uh, has another event that's about to uh happen coming up shortly on saturday uh get ready for guess what guys some smash action we are gonna have a sadie's hawkings twist on a little bit of a smash tournament all right uh sadie's hawkins the reason why we're t saying is sadie's hawkins is because of course valentine is valentine's day is coming up we're all excited and uh if you don't have anybody to slow dance with that is a-okay hopefully you have somebody that you can play smash with all right because sadie's hawkins we're gonna have Women-led teams during that event. That is this Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standards Time. Uh, so make sure that you're paying attention for that tournament. That's something you definitely don't want to miss. A lot of action that's going to be happening there. Um, and a lot of gamers are already signing up. If you would like to sign up and you're interested, be sure to follow Bravest on social media you can see that if you don't know where to find that you can see that on the home page of uh our tw uh twitch channel you'll see it in the about us section go ahead find the links to the social media join the discord you'll be able to find all the different announcements and things happening for that tournament And hopefully, viewers, you are just as excited as I am because, trust me, there's a lot of things to be excited about, right? We have that tournament coming up. We also have War Zone Wednesday. So if you're, you know, Rocket League isn't my thing, all right? Rocket League isn't my thing. I'm not really, you know, in to, um, I'm not really in to, 
uh, Smash, I'm not into Rocket League, but that's a okay. You don't have to in be into either because there's also a Warzone Wednesdays for, for our shooter friends, our shooter friendly friends. So if that's something that you enjoy, you can find that also on Wednesday. All right, guys. So a litany of things. There's a whole buffet to enjoy here at Bravest. So make sure that you're eating up. Well, actually, make sure that you have your stomach empty, all right, so you can eat up all the content that we're about to produce here, all right? We're waiting and loading. Guys, don't go to sleep on me, guys. It's, we're about to get picked up and get going, all right, guys? Uh, just waiting on a couple contestants. Hopefully you had a wonderful day. And if you hadn't, that's okay. Because we'll try to make sure that this uh, action from the tournament is just as wonderful as any good day can be. All right, guys. As we are getting ready for the action, why not go to chat to make sure that things are happening? We're doing jokes. We're doing dad jokes. That is right, definitely. And uh, Stratagem also did us a favor, all right, guys? Uh, posted that tiny URL to the Sadie Hawkins doubles. Go ahead and click on that if you're really excited and you want to join in that Smash tournament action. Obviously, you do, right? Because you've been grinding on the sticks. You've been playing, you've been workshopping it. Why not, you know, just put it on the table, put it on the line. And, of course, there are things on the line here tonight because the participants who win this wonderful tournament, as I said with these participants, will have the opportunity to win some cash moolah. We're going to get 50 simoleons on the table. 50 simoleons. That's a lot of money, all right, especially in college. I know in college, literally any dollar that I could get, hey, I was going to scrap and scrape for it. Okay, guys, so this is a, a perfect opportunity for these participants to get a little something extra in their pocket, all right? Especially, to you have a lot of money that you're going to be ending up spending on uh, all these things like student loans, going out to your door dashes and everything like that. $50 could really come in handy, all right? So let's not sleep on the amount of money that these uh, players have a potential to get here. Back in my day, says Rosebud, there was no DoorDash. Oh, my gosh, there absolutely wasn't. You had to be you had to be a uh, gracious to uh, blessed enough to be around a campus that had something by it, right? Especially if your your uh, lunch room closed too early. I know back in my day I was in band, and guess what? We'd have practice until ten o'clock, and guess what time that lunch room closed at eight thirty. All right. If any of these gamers, if they get into that situation, guess what? They'll have some money in their pocket. Be able to afford some DoorDash. I didn't get that luxury, but thank goodness. The future is bright for you all. So, hey, guys, you can go ahead and get that burger that you've been craving. And not have to walk for it either, okay? Delivered right to the comfort of your uh, dorm, which is good, too, because midterms are coming up. Be sure to tip your drivers, Rosebud. Very important advice. I do agree. And Snipe Hunter said, out, hey, out of curiosity, do you have to attend Sadie Hawkins to participate? Do you have to attend it? Well, you can join You can join the Discord if you would like. So if you would like to participate in that way, right? But is there a time conflict that that's the issue for you, Snipe Hunters? Because if you join the Discord, you can kind of be in the mix without having to be at the mix, if you understand what I'm saying. And there is the Discord right there, Rosebud, dropping it into the chat. 
There you can find any additional information for that Saturday event at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It was at like, uh, 4 p.m. or 3 p.m. Pacific Time. Let's get those confused there. It's just counting down by three, but, you know, counting is hard. Can you believe I used to be a math minor? I can't either. <laughs> But uh, make sure that you're joining that discourse so you can uh, at least workshop. That's one of the good things about being in the tournament space, guys. If you, Even if you're not able to directly participate um, in the event, even if you don't win, it's just good to, to meet the people who are there so you can get that uh, practice in because you get some more practice and practice and practice and practice. And guess what? That practice didn't turn into some cash ola. Maybe you're able to do, join another tournament and get something special. Quintastic says, time is a concept. I absolutely agree. Because trust me, I, I have ADHD. Time, the, Madonna says, time goes by slowly. I tend to disagree, all right? Tend to disagree. Time is a concept for others. It goes by slowly for me. It, I don't know what happens, especially if I'm doing something I enjoy. If I'm in something like school or a lecture, and ah, uh, gosh, it can just drag on. <laughs> just really bad. All right, guys, we are almost ready for the start of this tournament. I hope you're ready. And actually, chat, if you're ready, go ahead. Don't only say, yeah, I get a yeah in the chat if you're ready. Not only that, but also, too, we have two teams. We have the red team. We have the black team. Who do you think is going to end up winning? All right. Go ahead. Throw your predictions. Throw caution to the win. All right. Maybe you know these gamers. Maybe you know what they're like on the sticks. Maybe you know them. You go you go to West Virginia Northern Community College, so you know what they're about. And maybe, hey, you don't know any of these guys. You're just ready to see some Rocket League. You're Rocket League fiend. You just love the sport of it. I feel you. Rocket League is an addiction, all right? So, hey, guys. Throw a hat in the table. Throw a hat in the ring. And pick who you think might win. We have a woot, yeah, woot, woot. There it is. Come on now from Rosebud. Of course, Nightbud, but always letting us know, hey, guys, we're going to have uh, go to that website. And boom, we are seeing players file in. Snipeshot04 and Toby. They're going to be the red team. The black team is going to be Paracelsus. All right. We are getting ready to start the matchup I believe but there's only one person in this matchup I believe this is an error on our back end I'll try to get that all straightened out for you I believe it's just practice or something like that. Red or black, am I betting in Vegas? Well, <laughs> hey, always bet on red or always bet on black, huh? It is a 50-50 shot, just like now, huh? Or it could be a little bit, you know, more sway, too. You never know. These gamers are getting back out. Started the match a little bit too soon. I'd say okay. We'll get all of that sorted out for you guys here. We've all left the match. And we're going to go ahead and restart the lobby to make sure that things are going well, guys. All right. So while we're doing that, we're just going to throw it on to, to my face while we, we just talk, talk and chat it up here. All right, guys. Uh, red or black, you know, if, if any of you guys have been to Vegas, right, I definitely do recommend it. It's something that is super fun. I've personally been wasn't 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 able to go to to um let's say to the high end baller to the to the 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 exciting tables i did play some jack blackjack 
Uh, no poker for me, though. No roulette and anything like that. It's a little daunting, a little scary. I know a couple people put your, your chips in the ring there. I know a couple people have. All right, we're restarting that lobby. We're waiting for these gamers to come back in. Rose is going in September. Can't wait. Oh, my gosh. There are plenty of recommendations I have. Uh, I'm also going in July as well, so I, I'm excited for you as well. Uh, plenty of recommendations. Just, just have a good time. Have a commitment to having a good time, all right, guys, because uh, that's why you're there. Sleep, uh, that's for the week. Enjoy your weekend. Make sure you're having a good time while you're there, you guys. Okay. Lobby. Loading. Up shortly. As they come back in. There's brunch spots. There's a roller coaster there. Fremont Experience. That's also very fun. I've been there. I love it. I did I did karaoke there. I promise you guys, I almost got a record deal. I have no idea how. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was talking to an It's a long story, guys. There a lot of crazy things, a lot of crazy good things, a lot of crazy bad things could happen. Uh, that was a crazy good thing. Um, but, uh, unfortunately I am not a singer, so I did not get a record deal, <laughs> but I did have a good time. So who needs a record deal when you, you're having a good time, guys? If you, uh, somebody comes to you and asks you to sing a karaoke song while you're in Vegas, take it seriously. <laughs> All right, we're we're loading up. For, we're waiting for the lobby to load back up again. Again, any predictions that you might have, go ahead, share them. What's your go-to song in karaoke? Well, that's a good question, Rose. Hmm, go-to song. So, um, it depends. On, you know what? My go-to song actually is. It's raining men by the weather girls, all right? A nice, fun song. People can join along. Most people know the words. It was I Believe I Could Fly. That's a little controversial <laughs> now. So now it is the weather girls. Um, I also think I, I, I Want to Dance with Somebody is also a good song by Whitney Houston. Toxic by Britney Spears. Those are probably my top three. You got to get something that'll get everybody moving, you know, everybody grooving. And you, and you don't want to do a long song that goes on and on and on and on and on. You know, we do like 25 things and on and do. What's going on? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do love that. We do love that song. But you can't always do it. Sometimes you can get away with it karaoke if there's a chill mood. But if it's a high energy or up tempo in a bar, you can't do that song, all right? It's a great song, though. It's a great song. You can't do Purple Rain. That song lasts way too long. It's like a 12 minute song. You can't do that. Rosebud, people in the chat, go ahead and say, what's your favorite, your go to song for karaoke? You know, there's things like karaoke leagues. So that's something I would love to join. Just sing it, blasting out. Some people go to karaoke to, like, you know, sing beautifully. And apparently if you're in Vegas and somebody comes up to you and it's like, hey, you should sing the song, I'll be looking out for you. Maybe you should take it seriously. However, I'm the type that just likes to have a good time, right? So you have to make sure you're, you're singing those types to have a good time. If, if, you're, if you're trying too hard to karaoke, especially if you can't sing, ah, come on now. It's all about fun, all right? All Star by Smash Mouth. That is a fantastic karaoke song. Absolutely fantastic. Everybody will be an All Star at the end of that because everybody knows the words to those song, to that song. So that's a that's a great song. Absolutely great song. A couple of years ago, ooh man, um, the song by Gautier, somebody that I used to know. Mm. 
great song. I'm not sure if it's in that that classic territory where now everybody can, but a couple of years ago, oh boy, you sing that, everyone used to know all that. Mm. Fantastic. All Star by Smash Mouth, also fun and high energy. Uh, while I was in Vegas, somebody uh, saying um, Sir Mix a Lots. Uh, I like big butts and I can't lie. Oh my gosh, it was great. You have to have the stage presence for that. Singing is secondary, all right? A couple, fam, that's 10 years ago. I know, that's too many times. <laughs> Rose, stop making me feel old, man. That was when I was in, like, high school. <laughs> man, that was hot when I was in high school. Not anymore. Not anymore. All right, guys, we're loading up here. All right, guys. A little bit more of the technical difficulties. It's A-OK, -okay, though, because, you know, technology, the thing about technology, it always works until you need it to, right? That's OK. Guys, we're going to throw it back to face cam so I can give you face right here on this wonderful, um, what is it? It's Thursday. It's almost Friday. Tell me if you have any plans for the weekend. Anything that you would like to go to? You know, the pandemic. I know things are slowly starting to open back up. Slowly starting to. You have anything that you're doing? Let us know. Besides going to, uh, of course, the Sadie Hockey. Smash tournament, of course, at 7 p.m. Make sure you make sure you go to that. If if I hadn't made it clear already, that's something that you should absolutely make sure that you're doing. Um, all right, guys. And we are, hold on, we are, there you go, we're back. <laughs> Oof, guys, <laughs> sorry about that. So let's go to the chat and see. Join our Smash Doubles tournament. There you go, Russ. Rose, good promotion. We do love the promotion. I got uh tomorrow. I got more more tournaments. Sniper Runner says I got one tomorrow and one Saturday. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. What tournaments? What are you playing, Snipe? What's happening? Let us know. I'd actually be very excited to figure out what. Because there's plenty of different things that you could uh, be playing. Oh, you know, uh, Halo is a new thing. So, uh, not a new thing. It's been out for a couple months, obviously, right? But uh, it's it's another game that's uh, being out there. So uh, let us know. Let us know. 
Smash Bros, one tournament that I set up, and one that I joined. Okay, all right. One that you set up. Well, congratulations on being a TO. Shout out to all of the TOs that uh, exist or are pushing and doing things. Because you guys do a, an important, uh, important job, all right? It could be hard to gather gamers around. But you guys do the dirty work, and that's why we love you for it. That's why we care, all right? It's not easy being cheesy, and it's not easy... To be in the tournament scene, so participating in it, having that ability, running one, props to you. All right, guys. As we're seeing, our competitors leak back into the lobby. Things are starting to pick up, guys. And if they're picking up now, ooh, I can't wait for what will happen until the game actually starts to get moving. Starts to get going. All right, guys. So make sure you're paying attention to all the wonderful opportunities here at Bravest. As we have all of our competitors in the lobby right now. So right now, guys, we're about to get started. Let's go, says Rosebud. And guess what? I'm hyped too. Hype in the chat, guys. Because we're about to get started. We're just making sure all the teams know where we're going and who's who and who's what's teammate and this and that and et cetera. As we get ready to go. All right. I'm sure these gamers have been revving up their engines for a while. Now it's time to put up or shut up, right? Because as I said in the beginning of this match, guess what, guys? $50 is on the line here. We have Sniper Shot and Toby as the red team, Tobizard. And we have for the black team, Jagger Bush and Paracelis. It's time for Rocket League action. Let's go. Our kickoff. Well, it seems that the ball is now in the hands of the black team. That's Jagger Bush right now, getting close to goal right there. Snipe shot, able to push it away. Paracelis here, who getting ready. There's an opportunity. Didn't quite get all the heft he probably wanted on that ball. And now it's, the ball is in Toby Zard's hands. Ooh, not a para has anything to say about it. Rallying the ball back in position. Ooh, this ball has a chance. It's a shot on goal. It's good. The first shot from Paracelis, and that's a point for the black team. Guess what, guys? This is the best of five. And splash, because guess what? That shot was nice. Let's see if the red team has anything to say about that as we start our second part of the action four minutes left to go Pero, oh, this is a shot right here easy money splash i have a feeling we're probably going to be seeing that a lot rosebud is putting up the hands touchdown Ooh, splash that's looking good. 
already up 2-0 right here. The red team has to rally. The good thing about Rocket League, though, is a lot can happen in a short amount of time. So never be discouraged because guess what? The tides can turn at any moment. Tobazar didn't quite get the angle, but guess who did? It's Jaggerbush getting it into the goal. Teammates giving him a nice shot because it was very nice. Boom, that's in the right corner. All money, no problems. With three minutes and 46 seconds to go. It's not I'm looking at a reach for the black team, for the red team. Not at all. But this black team keeps pouring it on. You don't have to see the splash effect to know that they are feeling good in the neighborhood right now. Ooh, bouncing off the side, getting the good rebound into the, guess what, touchdown. All right. There is another goal. That's 4-0 in only two minutes. And guess what? Ooh, it was dangerously close off the crossbar. Ooh, the red team must be feeling really good about just clearing that ball, giving themselves a chance to breathe. And they're lined up for a shot. Ooh, whiffed it, did sniper shot. Oh no, and now it's vulnerable. The thing about these 2v2s is that you always have to have somebody who's playing defense because you never know if they might get a shot Ooh, off the backboard. Paracelis did. Ooh, looks like Snipeshot might have an opportunity to snipe one in, but Jackerbush pushes it back into possession. Ooh, a little ping pong action going back and forth. Will this ping pong into the goal? Yes, it will. Paracelis feeling ice cold like Celsius, all right, because he is getting everything that he wants. Another splash. And my goodness, guys, there are fiends for this black team. $50 on the line for this matchup. And uh, guess what? They're feeling 100, not 50. Oh, Jagger. Oh, he doesn't have the moves like him, though. Unfortunately, off the crossbar, will Para come through and get it? Toby Zar tried to block it, didn't save the shot, but luckily, he's good any day. Whew, I know Red Team is feeling really good, but they feel even better if they just had solid possession, because sometimes that's what Rocket League is all about, just having the ball, just like in traditional Soccer, sniper shot, blocking that, clearing that away. Jagger Bush, ooh, another whiff by Sniper, but hopefully he can get possession. He kind of does, and they're on a rally right there. They're trying to make a run. Jagger stopping that run. Toby almost had the shot lined up, didn't quite get the gumption that he wanted. Ah, uh, couldn't stop that. Now it's up to Tobizar. Ooh, luckily not the last line of defense, but might be right now. Could it be another goal? And Para decides not to shoot it into the uh, into the, the goal. Decides to, I guess, set up the teammate. Do a, a little cheeky assist right there. Is there another cheeky assist that's looking? Oh, no, off the backboard. Oh, and Sniper, Sniper just keeps on getting so close to getting that possession. Just not lining up, unfortunately. It's in dangerous territory. They have possession, making a run. Para says no. Jagger probably has it. Jagger probably has it, but it's going to be Para. Tell us with the splash. That is the sixth shot in four minutes and my goodness these students want that cheddar all right guys they are fighting so hard for this money and they're not giving up either not giving any ground to toby czar but hopefully toby can, can can make something happen or will it just be para who Ooh, tried to knock it in from the first shot. Didn't quite.
like getting the second one, but hey, you got the angle the first time. Unfortunately, uh, Toby was close. Snipe shot was right there too. But that's seven straight for this match. This might be their opportunity. It's going to be a Brazil. It's going to be a Brazil. Toby Zard finally getting at least one goal in to the hole. And that's good, guys, because sometimes, you know, you're, you're starting to get your sticks under you, right? You're not, you're not, you're not, you know, you, you need to get into it, right? Maybe you didn't do some practice rounds. So brushing up, this could just be the sign of something new. Get some momentum going, all right? Because momentum builds. People don't think that momentum is real. It absolutely is. And you want to build it because that can build some more morale. Because getting a nothing burger, that's hard. Getting at least one score in and another shot on goal, that's building, all right? So that is the end ooh, of the last, this, this first match, I'm sorry. Uh, Parasol is absolutely not letting the red team get any positive hopes. That's another goal after already thoroughly beating him. And, uh, the Angel Wings, guess what? They flew away with that victory. But, guys, it's time for us to go again because this is the best of five. All right, guys? So we want to see. We want to make sure that we can see who is going to end up being the ultimate winner of this matchup. All right? Paracelis is the MVP with six goals, 10 shots on goal. You also have Jagerbus with two and two shots on goal as well. Toby Zard with a goal and a shot in snipe shot. Trying to get, you know, a little accustomed, all right, guys? So now it's time to start again, getting ready to continue our matchup here uh, and get queued up. All right, everybody is set. Everybody is looking ready to go. And guess what? We are, as we see if the red team can come back. And they're starting off strong right there, at least getting the ball in to black teams. Uh, side. Oh, my gosh. This is an opportunity at goal off the crossbar. Who Toby Zard was in position. The ball was centered, but unfortunately couldn't get it in Paracel is trying to do a ceiling shot didn't quite get the angle that he wanted but guess what Jake Jager ooh, is off the crossbar snipe shot it's looking like you could clear this away Ooh, they just can't get a cold on it and you actually centered it for Jager to come through he has the moves like Jagger that is Jagger Bush with another goal had to last match. Well, guess what? That's another one to his resume. This could be the start of something new. It absolutely could, Rose. It's okay, because guess what? Hopefully the red team is feeling revitalized. At least they got the ball into the red team, the black team's area. Now they're going to try to move it away from their goal. And they do successfully. Snipe shot is getting there. Toby is an open shot to, to the goal. But Paracels was actually right there, kind of blending in with that bright blue, right? Jagger trying to see if the ball centers up, but Toby knocks it away. Not going to let you get the chance. This one, this match, a little less high octane, a little bit more measured by both teams. And what did we talk about? We talked about possession being huge. Sniper, uh, the red team, Sniper Shot and Toby, probably realizing that they need to hold that momentum. And now it seems like they are thoroughly warmed up because they're getting at least possession a lot more. They're going to need the goals in order to make sure that they can extend this matchup and get a chance at those 50. Toby clearing the ball away, but Paracel, ooh, trying to get a shot in. You did. Look at that flying, 
floating up in the air. You have angel wings as your song. You flew up like an angel, falling gracefully from the gracefully from the sky after getting that shot. That is 2-0. Red team in dire need of some points. Unfortunately, in this whole context, only one. But guess what? We have members of this Bravest team who are going to Vegas, who have been in Vegas. Maybe we're betting red. Or maybe Parasol says, I'm betting on me. Ooh, missed the shot right there. Centered the ball for his teammate. But unfortunately, ja uh, Jagger couldn't finish it. But they have another attempt at goal right here. Wide right. Snipe shot. Just has unfortunately been a victim. Of just not quite getting all the hit that you wanted. The flicks just aren't flicking. Ooh, but definitely did save that for potential shot at goal. Tobizard. Ooh, there's an opportunity, but good defense right there just in case by Paracelis. And now there's an open goal. An open goal is always dangerous, but there was a whiff on the shot. Ooh. You're giving the red team a chance. I'm not sure if you all uh, watch Dumb and Dumber, but you're saying there's a chance. There absolutely is, but they're trying to make sure there is none. Look at that assist. Paracel is giving the shot off the wall, tossing it over to his teammate Jagger. Get it on in to the goal. That is 3-0 with a minute and 35 seconds. It's up to the red team to do something here. Defense is being played by Snipeshot right here because he probably knows, hey, we got to play some defense to hopefully turn into some offense. Smart strategy. Will. It coming to fruition off the wall shot. Didn't mean for it to be an assist, but guess what? It ended up being it because Jagger was creeping, lurking, and snuck it in. Boom, in the right corner. That's another goal. DJ Khaled, another one. Added to the scoreboard. Red team has been the beneficiary of a lot of hits, a lot of moving the ball into the opponent's territory off the first shot, but then they leave. That goal wide open. Black team has been capitalizing on it, but this is an opportunity for them to capitalize. Tobizard had an opportunity, and now it seems like Paracelos is making an opportunity off of it. Wide left. Oof. And he's saying whoops because he knew he could have made this a done, a Reynolds wrap, a done deal. Instead, we'll have another shot right here. Possession, very important. A ceiling shot with the twirl tornado going in. Splash! It is a hail storm, a tornado storm, a storm front. It is crazy here as the splashes keep on splashing. Paracelis is making this pitch all wet. And guess what, guys? I hope you brought your umbrellas because it doesn't seem like the red team quite has. They are being drenched here and it's another pouring on. My goodness. I'll tell you what, Paracelis is probably saying, I want a 50 by myself. Look at that play off of the ceiling from the wall. Downright disgusting. Oh, oh. I'd be really interested on in seeing what level Paracelis is because my goodness, it is, it is a clinic right now as it's off of the backboard. Tobias are trying to clear the ball, but Jagger comes through off of the cheeky assist from Paracelis. Guess what? He can do it all. A little bit of assist, a lot of scoring, and a lot of catching up to do. This is a best of five situation. Unfortunately, the red team is not going to get it in this matchup. But guess what, guys? 
There is at least one more to go. Angel Wings playing in the background. He's standing on a little bit of a headstand going on for Barazos. Obviously, the player of the game, the OG player. And guess what? That ain't for original gangster. That's for, oh my goodness. I'm good, all right? Three goals, two assists, six shots. Absolutely insane game. You also have Jaggerbush, who also had four shots, one save. So some defense playing in and five shots from himself. So a little bit of a better accuracy, I would say, a little bit from Jagger Bush. Uh, Snipe shot was able to get one shot on goal. But unfortunately, they were not able to score in this matchup. We are hoping that the red team can rally back and get it together. I believe in them. We are spectating because guess what, guys? We are about to get started for potentially our last match of the even. Toby Zar and Snipe Shot have to come back and rally. But guess what? Last time's off of kick of kickoff, the red team got the ball into the black team's goal situation but guess what Paracelis is trying to end this already taking over dominating that's another shot on goal and this time it's in these kickoffs the last matchups haven't been so kind to the black team hopefully some favor can start to turn for sniper shot in the red team Got possession, was dribbling. Didn't do much with it. Jagger Bush is doing a lot with it, though. That's another one. Got four shots on goal the last time. Name is 44. Is he trying to go for four again? Hmm, we'll see if that ends up being Jagger's lucky number. Or maybe it's the red team's lucky number, and they try to stretch this game out. A demolition right there. Sniper shot getting de demoed by Paracelis because he got the boosties. Unfortunately, couldn't boost the ball into the end zone. But is able to potentially get set up a whiff right there. It's wide open unless Paracelis. <laughs> Paracelis came out of nowhere and then boom, got it in. I want you guys to look at that play. Paracelis like a predator jumping out out of nowhere, getting the ball out the way, then putting it into possession, getting it into the hole. My goodness, Paracelis is a man possessed. Wants that money and he wants it now, all right? A demo knocking out both players, Tobizard and Paracelis. Tobizard knocking the ball away, but guess who? Is he's inevitable just like Thanos. If you're seeing that background, you see that ominous face you're seeing right there from Parasols in that avatar. Guess what? <laughs> this boy is a demon, all right? A fiend for the ball, a fiend for the goal. And hopefully this is a, a good chance for the red team to respond right here. And guess who? Parasols knocking that ball away as soon as they get the chance. My goodness, play fair, my boy. Snipe shot. Guess who? Do I, do I have to say more? Or do all the shots speak for themselves? I asked if four was the lucky number for Jaggerbush, because it's Jaggerbush 44, but that's already four. It must be Paracelsus' lucky number. And that was a shot at goal by Toby Zard. This is an opportunity, and oh my goodness, that has been a depiction of this day for the red team. Just so close to getting it done, but just can't. Jaggerbush with the epic save in the Epic coming back to the goal to get the ball into the goal. Oh, my goodness. This is Rocket League goals right here. I'm not just talking about the goal into the hoop. I'm talking about the goal of just firmly cementing your place on top of the competition. Paracelis 
flying up into the air. Unfortunately, couldn't get it done. And now it's the red team's turn to rally back. There's nobody at the goal. Unfortunately, didn't get enough force into that. That's another lovely save by the MVP, Paracel. And now it's time to go to work, dribbling the ball. Trying to get another aerial feat because it seems like the aerial game of red, of the red team, just isn't quite the level, but ran out of boosties. That's one thing. Boost management is huge in this game. Oh, this is dangerous. Paracel is trying to get in position. Didn't quite have it, but centered it for the teammate. He centers it for his teammate. Oh, man, they just keep on centering it. Did he double tap? Double tap doesn't go. Ooh, a soft shot didn't go. Red team is able to live another day. My goodness, it was right there, the ball. <laughs> but they were able to clear. But they can't clear that. You know, sometimes you just run out of words to say. Splash. That's a word I didn't forget how to say. Another one. Seven points. This has been the theme of the day. Seven points. Around seven or eight points. And then guess what? Boom. Snipe shot. I've seen crazier things happen, guys. Maybe they could potentially get a lead going right there. A nice a kind of hockey assist, right, off of him, off of the team, uh, off of the block shot, was able to come and rebound it into the goal. I, I like that. Hopefully can spell some momentum for the red team because they are needed. Jaggerbush unable to get it. Paracel is trying to clear the ball. And Toby's are trying to find the angle. Not if Para has the ball and guess what? It's a goal by Paracelis. <laughs> I feel like he's a paranormal, all right? Because this match, this performance, it's not otherworldly. It's ghostly. He's ghouly. He's a ghoul. What's a ghoul to a goblin? Well, guess what? There are no goblins here because this ghoul named Parazellus is on a roll. Scaring the competition with the trick shots, the ceiling shots, the shots off the wall, the pool shots. Oh, that's Jagger with a pool shot right there. Off of the wall, into the goal. And Parasolis didn't even need to touch. It's just rolled underneath it. Said, hey, man, you already got the angle. I trust my teammate. And the trust was rewarded with a goal. One minute left in the competition. Can the red team potentially, you know, sometimes you get beat, guys. And unfortunately, this isn't a multi-multi-bracket tournament. They can't get another shot, you know. But maybe they can get some momentum. So the next time they're in the tournament, gang, they can make some noise. Toby's are getting a shot into the goal. And although that might be a little too late, Paracel is still trying to make sure that they don't add any points. Come on, guys. You, you basically almost did it. Like I said, hopefully this could spell good things for the future for this team, all right? Sometimes the best teams are formed out of defeat. Guess what? The Chicago Bulls of the 90s were a dynasty, but got their butt handed to them by the Pistons a lot of times. Maybe these are their Pistons, right? And Toby Zard and Snipe Shot can come back. But right, right now, ooh, I was going to say it's the black team's moment to shine. Didn't get that goal, but does get possession. And is basically kind of playing a, a, a game of keep away, all right? If we're not going to get the ball into the hoop, at least keep the ball. Because guess what? If I keep the ball, you're not going to score. And guess who is the winner of this tournament? It's the black team, Jagger Bush and Paracelis 
with the victory, we have to give props to the player, the OG player. And I'm telling you, man, he moved like a gangster because guess what? Was the MVP on every single, every single match that we had here tonight with six goals, two saves, and six shots. That is another MVP performance from Paracelis getting the gold star by him. Jagger Bush also was no scrub. Three goals, one assist, one save. Out off of four shots. And Toby Zard, one goal, one assist, three shots, one goal, and three shots from Snipe Shot. Guys, it has been fantastic. GG's in the chat because we just had a heck of, of a tournament. All right, these guys gave it their all. Unfortunately, somebody had to win. And it was a black team that came through. Perry Wedding off of the air. Paracelis was really a fiend when it came to the game, right? Ceiling shots, wall shots, pool shots. My goodness, everything in the arsenal that you could have? Besides probably aerials, my goodness. He had it. And that is why they are walking away with the victory guys i hope you had a good time here on this matchup on this wonderful event in fact if you had a great time go ahead again we are representing bravos esports right you don't pay attention to the starting soon line hey guess what guys we already started but pay attention to this right uh, on saturday there is the sadie hawkins smash doubles tournament that's at 7 p.m. CST. I apologize. I probably said EST earlier. 7 p.m. CST, which is 8 p.m. EST. If you all are interested in that, it's going to be a woman-led captain tournament. So watch out for that. I'm going to be joined by Jem, and we are going to be having a good time hosting the event, seeing what these Smash players are bringing to the table, and what their game is like, guys. So if you want to see some more good uh, competition from Bravest, go ahead and make sure that you are following. All right, guys? You have your bell ready. You have those notifications dinged up. And you'll also come out on Saturday. We also have Wards on Wednesdays. If fighting games aren't your thing, Rocket League isn't your thing. Guess what? We have the first-person shooters here, too. We have plenty of Wonderful events here from Bravest. Just make sure you keep posted on them because you want to have a good time. All right, guys. It's probably looking like the end of the road for me. So I am going to wrap it up here. Thank you all so much for joining us. I want to thank Rosebud, Sniper Hunters, Quintastic, Bank Eye, 007, and S. C. Myers for joining us for this broadcast. I will see you soon for plenty of other Bravers tournaments, including the Sadie Hawkins on this Saturday with my boy Jem. Until next time, guys, make sure you're being safe. Mask up and enjoy yourselves. Again, congratulations to our competitors for winning that $50. We will see you soon, guys. Have a good one and good night.